We can get Great Uncle Sniff a helicopter. No wait, a swimming pool. No wait, an elephant. I don't think they sell any of those things at shopping malls, Bobby. Get eh? Bobby and I are buying a birthday present. Do you have any ideas? I know. Let's get a big yummy bag of dog biscuits. We can't get them dog biscuits again. Who threw they were for him? What about a nice new leash? Oh yes, please. This one, virtue. Not for you, for Great Uncle Sniff. All oh, right, good idea. But can I take this leash off, Constable Brian? It really is itchy. OK, Bob, but you've got to promise to stay really, really close. Malls are a very easy place to get lost in, aren't they? You've got yourself a deal, Constable Brian. Hi, Hi there, how are uh, you? I was wondering if you could help me today. Yeah, no problems at all. <coughs> yeah, that's cool, no worries. How's you couldn't work? just... Oh, yeah. no, I guess you not. Can you live locally or not? <laughs> Attention shoppers, oh, for the next five better. minutes we have free dog biscuit tasting in the pet store. Dog biscuits? My favourite! Hey, Constable Brian! Oh, he looks busy. Oh well. He won't mind, will he? Nah. Back in a bit. I'm coming, yummy biscuits! I'm coming! <laughs> Oh, oh, crumbs. Oh, I've missed out. I'd better get back to Constable Brian. Now, which way did I come? No, that's not it. It must be this way. Nope, that's not it either. Oh, it all looks so different from here. How did this happen? Oh no, I think I'm... I think I'm... Lost! Hang on, Bobby. Take a deep breath. <sighs> right, that's right. Now, remember what to do when you get lost. Now, one thing I gotta do is... Panic! 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 Help! help or, me, help me. I could Somebody stay calm ah! and think things through. Yes, this feels better. And now... <sighs> I have to find somebody I can trust to help me. Hmm, where can I go? Got it! A shopkeeper. Brian down, Bobby. Excuse me, my name's Bobby, and I'm lost and adorable. Can you please help me find Constable Brian? Sure, Bobby, just come with me to the mall information desk and we'll see what we can do. Ooh, Brian down, Bobby. Hi. This is Bobby. He has a question for you. How can I help you, Bobby? Could you please tell me where the information desk is? They'll be right here, Bobby. Oh, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Um, don't you have another question you would like to ask, Bobby? Oh, yeah. Where, oh, where is Constable Brian? Where did you last see him, Bobby? He was over there by the sunglass hut, and then I took off to get some free biscuits, and I couldn't remember how to get back. It's all so tragic. Relax, Bobby. Let's make an announcement in the mall. Attention shoppers. We have a little dog. Uh, a little handsome dog? We have a little handsome dog named Bobby, wearing a blue and white collar with his name on it. If you are Bobby's owner, could you please come to the information centre? And hurry, Constable Brian. I'm so very lonely. Hi. Oh, Constable Brian? I think somebody wants to see you. Constable Brian! Here I am! My old mate! Bobby, what happened to you? Well, well, I took off from where we were when I heard about the free dog biscuits at the pet store. I'm sorry, Constable Brian. Don't be mad at me. Look, mate, I'm not mad. I'm really glad you're here. I was really worried about you. Oh, Constable Brian, you sure know how to make a puppy feel special. Hey, Bob, how did you find me anyway? Well, the first thing I did was I stayed calm, which is easy peasy for me, cos I'm not the dramatic type. Sure, Bobby. Next, I found somebody I could trust. Normally somebody who works in a shop is a good start. Then we found the information desk, and I told you I was here. 
You did really well, Bobby. I'm proud of you. But tell me, who would you talk to if you got lost at a place like Rainbow's End? There were 1,500 kids at each of the last Blue Light Fun Days at Rainbow's End. They're days where kids, police and Blue Light staff get together to have a great time. What should somebody do if they got lost there on that day? Easy peasy. They could... Hmm, let me think. If they're lost at a place like Rainbow's End, I suppose they could talk to a staff member, someone who works there. They're trained to know what to do in a situation like that. Good thinking, Bobby. At big events like the Blue Light Fun Day, or at events like sports games, they usually have special places for lost kids too. A staff member or security guard will know where to take you or what to do. What would you do if you got lost at the swimming pool though, Bob? If you're lost at a swimming pool, I think you could talk to the lifeguards. They look after people and keep them safe too. So you can trust people like that. Now you're getting the hang of this, Bob. By the way, can you swim yet? Not really. I'll just do dog paddle. So, the best people to ask are the people who are there to help and keep you safe. Exactly, Bob. So do you know another group of people who do that? Of course I do. No idea. Police officers, Bob? More, oh, yeah. But Constable Brian, I don't know what police officers look like. <sighs> there were lots of police officers at the Blue Light Fun Day at Rainbow's End. Bobby, there was something else you should have known when you got lost as well. Your name, your address and your phone number. I know my name. My name is Bobby and I live in the house with a red roof. Buddy, you're going to need to know a little bit more than that. Like this. For example, you should say, my name is John Smith and I live at 123 Brown Street in Hamilton. My phone number is 555 1234. But Constable Bryan, my name isn't John Smith. It's Bobby. Constable Brian, I think there's something wrong with your head. There's no hair on it for a start. Bobby, that was just an example. Look, let's be honest, it's partly my fault you got lost anyway. Oh, really? Well, there's something we should have done before when we first came into the mall. Oh, I love the mall. So much to do. So much to buy. So much to eat. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do first. I do, Bob. What is it, Constable Brian? Is that something to do with getting an ice cream? No, the first thing we're going to do is organise a meeting place, so if one of us gets lost, we know where to find one another. So if we lose each other, we'll both go looking in the same place. Exactly right, and it's really important that if you do organise a meeting place, you stay in that place until the person that's looking for you finds you, otherwise they could miss you. Well, Constable Brian, I'm pleased to tell you that I've chosen the perfect place for us to meet if one of us gets lost. Where's that, Bob? The ice cream stand! Right then, if I can't find you, I'll see you at the ice cream stand. <laughs> Bobby! Where are you? I'm lost, Constable Brian! Meet me at the ice cream stand! Brian and Bobby Oh, Constable Brian, you made it. Your plan does work. Sure does, Bob. Now, while we're here, I'd like a jelly meat ice cream dipped in chocolate sprinkles with some of those dog Can't biscuits. Can't believe I fell for that one. Things. And well, let's get some of those chocolate flakes. <laughs> that was a great idea, Constable Brian. And you know what, I reckon? You could do that every time you go anywhere, like going to the park, or the beach, or a sports game, or the swimming pool, not just at shopping malls. Yep, choose a place to meet, make sure you all know what time to meet, and then make sure you're back in time. Do you know what, Constable Brian? I don't think I'll ever get lost again. Attention shoppers, the pet store has a special on dog leashes, perfect for great uncle's birthdays. <laughs> Well, hurry up, Constable Brian. Honestly, if you don't stay close, you'll get lost. Haven't you learned anything today? Shh. See you next time. For more information about this program and some fun things to do, visit us at www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Make sure it's Brian with a Y. <laughs> Here I am! Here I am! Here I am!
Ryan and Bobby brought to you in association with Blue Light Ventures and Trillium Trust.